yeah, as cheap as these, these, uh, these blues are, um, like I hear they're like real dirt cheap. So it's probably like easy to kind of like maintain it. Mm, you know? It was been that right now. Are they going up? Yeah, it's like five bucks. It was easy when it was like one fifty dollars. Mm-hmm. How many do you think you um go through a day? I don't even know. Huh. I know it's a lot. Just whatever it takes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sometimes it will, sometimes it won't. It just depends. Yeah. It's like a game of Russian roulette. All right, guys, welcome back. I'm out here with Becca. How you doing today, Becca? I'm good. Yeah, good, good, good. And how old are you? 23. Okay, right on. And did you grow up in here in Tucson? Yeah. I'm through, like, a little bit, and then I was in Cali, and then I bounced back. Okay. How long have you been out here? Since 2012. Right on. Oh, yeah. How was uh, life growing up for you, your childhood and all that? It was good. It was anything bad. Yeah. What, what type of uh, child were you? Mm-hmm. Like kid growing up, like uh, I was like uh, uh, trying to be the funny one. I don't know, like class clown, I guess. Yeah, just having fun, huh? Yeah, trying. You know, being a kid, I guess. Huh. Yeah, it was cool. Gotcha, man. So, what is what is uh, what's your situation right now? Hmm. Currently living out here by choice and everything like that. So it's not like anything crazy how everyone has a choice or whatever. Yeah. I I have a choice and I'm out here because I have a choice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And um, as far as like addiction, is is that a part of your life right now? Mm, somewhat. And what, what's your drug of choice right now? Blues. Blues. Okay. How long have you been messing with those? Hmm, for like three and a half, four years. Okay. Have they, um, like, how have they, like, impacted your life? It's a big impact. Anyone that does it will say how it is. Big impact. Like, um, is that what's, what's like, keeping you out here? Like, overall? Mm, not really. Well, you know, they can't say not really. I guess yeah, I can see that. Mm-hmm. Or I can, I, I can, I can do this at home or whatever. You know, I just choose not to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How's the relationship with uh, your folks? It's good. Yeah. They know about all this lifestyle and all that. Yeah, they, you know, can't really do anything about it, but they they know they're comfortable with it. Yeah. Cautious. So is Becca short for Rebecca? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was just just wondering. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I thought you were real younger than than twenty three. No, no, I look no. so young too, bro. I'm, I I'm get that shit a lot, bro. Yeah, yeah. I got it my whole life. How old do you think I am? Uh, I don't know. Maybe like fucking. Uh, <laughs> right here. <laughs> <laughs> um, like twenty seven, thirty. I'm gonna be forty four this year. Uh, uh, <laughs> cra- I got it my whole life. That's crazy though. Hell yeah. So as far as like supporting yourself, um, like how do you maintain this lifestyle? Mm, see, uh, either fly sign or I go and with my friends and shit, we go and do side jobs around the area and shit. So mm. we like, clean up and shit. Okay. We just get money sometimes. Mm. Yeah, as cheap as these these uh these blues are. Um like I hear they're like real dirt cheap, so it's probably like easy to kind of like maintain it. Mm, you know? It was been not right now. Are they going up? Yeah, it's like five bucks. That's what I heard. Of, like, it was easy when it was like one fifty dollars. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. How many do you think you um go through a day like smoke a day? I don't even know. Huh. I know it's a lot. Just whatever it takes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sometimes it will, sometimes it won't. It just depends. Yeah. So you gave me Russian roulette. Straight out every day. <laughs> when I told stories on my channel, that's exactly how I described it. Because we don't know what's going to happen. We don't know how these things are going to affect our body mm-hmm. or make us react to certain things. And you said it. Spot freaking on. Totally agree. Totally agree. So is, do you face like any challenges? Um, like since you kind of look younger than, than your age, like what type of things do you go through with that? 
not a lot of shit. No, not not the stuff. Like it's mainly if I like go into like bars. There's only thing I have a problem with. It's just that out here, like they just tell me I'm young. I look young. Mm, that I don't like my age and everything like that. That's it. Yeah. So do you stay uh like in a like a tent or? Yeah, I stay in a camp. Camp. Yeah. yeah. And what what type of um. Like, what type of things do you go through out here? Like, what, what's what been the wildest experience you've had out here? Hmm. I don't know. There's some kind of stories and shit. Like, you know. Um, uh, like, I don't know. I think every day is, you know, it's uh, it's crazy. So I can't even tell. Can't even tell you what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, every day. Yeah, every day is an experience. All day, I bet. Yeah, new experience. You never know what you're going to go through, what you're going to see, mm-hmm. what's going to happen, or anything like that. So yeah. It's, like, unexpected. So, if you can, like, what's been the scariest experience that you've had or, or seen? Like, just one story. Blows mm-hmm. out the water. Um, let me see. Because these stories, like, when people watch them, they, it helps, you know, um, like bring awareness and and all that stuff just to well yeah besides like seeing like friends or like that hmm. it's pretty great have you ever experienced that yourself yeah uh, yeah how many times once do you remember like any thing prior to that like that day or is it just completely blanked out like mm, it's not blanked out uh we've seen like the night before it happened, it happened or whatever, and like, he was just talking about how he wants everyone to be at his engagement party. And, and he just died. Oh, gee. <laughs> it was crazy. Oh, man. And you've experienced OD? Mm-hmm. Before, yeah. Man. I'm pretty sure anybody that's fucking deal with him or blues or some shit like that has overdosed once. Mm-hmm. Have you been to uh, detox or rehab or anything? Mm, no, but I've um uh went cold turkey before. Oh, on the blues. Yeah. yeah. How'd that feel? Like, what type of would you feel? It's my like, body aches. Mm-hmm. And like, right, like you can, like oh, I put this like uh, restless. They they call it restless leg syndrome or yep. something like that. Can't stand moving. <laughs> She's yeah. irritating. Just uneasy. Like mm-hmm. everything's uncomfortable. That's how it was for me on black, but yeah, it's basically the same thing because that's yeah, that's the same beans are mm-hmm. basically the same thing. Yeah. So how do you think, like from here on out, um, like with the prices going up, how is that? Like, how do you think that's going to look in the future, or how how is that impacting you? Mm, I live day by day. To be honest, I don't know how it's going to be in the future or anything like that. And go day by day and the vibe, you know? Mm-hmm. It comes and goes and so does money. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's that's how it was for me. I was talking about that in the middle of the interview, you know. I'll just get through today and deal with tomorrow, tomorrow. Yeah, exactly. I can't tell what's going to happen tomorrow. Yeah. Like, they might change price right now. I might change tomorrow. Who knows? After this video. Mm-hmm. You never know. Yeah. Yeah. And, um. Uh, couple more questions uh is there anything you want people to know like about this lifestyle or or the beans i would say it's probably not something you want to be on but you know you do what you do and say be careful with it Mm -hmm. do you think you'll ever go back home yeah i see my dad all the time see your pops Mm -hmm. yeah Things cool, like with you guys. Yeah, that's good. That's good. At least you have that family contact and the support, and not a lot of people out here don't. Yeah, they're too maybe. Not to get for because a lot of people don't have it. Yeah. What What's the highest level of school you went to? No, junior. Oh, okay. Until I dropped out and then went into construction with my dad. Okay. Okay. Did uh? Do you drop out like due to drugs or partying? No, I mean I dropped out. 2017, I was supposed to graduate 2018. I was born in 2000. So every year, it turns a year, I'm turning. Okay. So, like, 2017 was my junior year. Mm-hmm. 
17, so yeah, dropped out then and got into freaking work with my dad when I was 18. Mm. And yeah, no joke, so I was 20. Okay. And last question, if, if anybody, like any other family or friends, see this video, do you want to say anything to them? Like, any messages or... Mm. I can't say no because I don't have any feelings in it. Mm, I'm good, you know? They know what it is. Yeah. It's all love. Do you think um do you think you're gonna be out like in this lifestyle for, for a while? Or are you just not even thinking about it? Just getting through the day? Mm, it's a little bit of both. I think about it and then I don't think about it. It sure did get tiring though. Yeah. It's tiring, it's stressful, it's painful, but like addiction is so strong, it overrides all that, right? Like the need for this stuff mm-hmm. just keeps us out here. It kept me out there for 13 years, man. Yeah, at least you're in a shame to see it, you know? Yeah. All right, well, thank you for your story. Good seeing you.